Researchers have detailed a man-in-the-middle attack on SSH that can break the integrity of that protocol, the first quote, practical attack of its kind, according to researchers, fixes could be tough because they face compatibility issues. Quoting Ars Technica, Named Terrapin, the new hack works only when an attacker has an active adversary in the middle position on the connection between the admins and the network they remotely connect to. Also known as a man-in-the-middle or MITM attack, this occurs when an attacker secretly positioned between two parties intercepts communications and assumes the identity of both the recipient and the sender. This provides the ability to both intercept and to alter communications. While this position can be difficult for an attacker to achieve, it's one of the scenarios from which SSH was thought to have immunity. For Terrapin to be viable, the connection it interferes with also must be secured by either ChaCha20 Poly 1305 or CBC with Encrypt then Mac, both of which are cipher modes added to the SSH protocol in 2013 and 2012, respectively. A scan performed by the researchers found that 77% of SSH servers exposed to the internet support at least one of the vulnerable encryption modes, while 57% of them list a vulnerable encryption mode as the preferred choice. At its core, Terrapin works by altering or corrupting information transmitted in the SSH data stream during the handshake, the earliest stage of a connection, when the two parties negotiate the encryption parameters they will use to establish a secure connection. The attack targets the BPP, short for Binary Packet Protocol, which is designed to ensure that adversaries with an active position can't add or drop messages exchanged during the handshake. Terrapin relies on prefix truncation, a class of attack that removes specific messages at the very beginning of a data stream." End quote. To check for Terrapin vulnerability in your SSH clients or servers, users can utilize a specialized scanner created by researchers. This tool accesses the presence of susceptible encryption modes and the support for a strict key exchange countermeasure without completing a full handshake or executing the attack. However, users of any SSH implementing app should consult the developer for specific advice, including the app's vulnerability to Terrapin, conditions of potential exploitation, and availability of fixes. <laughs> 